Hello, Diana Teeters here. Today I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the overlays on Wedding Essentials Volume 2 and give you some ideas on changing the blending mode in the opacity to get a different effect. Now let me show you, I've actually got a picture here and I'm going to show you, I've got three different uh, overlays on this same photo just for demonstration purposes. Let me go ahead and play that. It's magic dust, blowing bubbles, and metallic confetti. So with the photo, I put it on video track one, and the overlays are on video track two. Now with magic dust, I simply have the normal blend mode. If you go through here and let me show you what it would look like if I was to change it to screen. It just it just went a little it just made it a little more subtle not quite as sparkly um, but that's just a you know that's a preference but just know that they're there and you can you know change the other one that I use is overlay. Now that that didn't quite work but it made it real subtle so I'm going to stick with normal. But now the bubbles on the bubbles I use screen. The original, if I had used normal, you see how how more defined those bubbles are. And I really would like them to be more transparent. So I find that screen does a good job at that. And then finally, the metallic, I use the screen mode, which really really makes it subtle. Um, let me show you the difference. If I change it back to normal and we see the confetti. I'm sorry, I used the wrong one. Here we go. Then you can actually see the color that it's silver and it doesn't really match the photo. So keep in mind that you can change uh, how the overlay interacts with the, the, you know, the layer below it. So in this case, I'm going to change it to overlay. Okay, well, that's all I have for you today. Appreciate you watching and happy editing.